We all receive our life from the earth. And one of the great joys of life is recognizing and celebrating the connection between yourself and between the world around you and the people around you. And that's your community. There's this concept that community is more than just people. It's the plants and the animals and the soil, everything surrounding you, that you're all part of the same community. When you see that the food you eat comes from the ground that you walk on and the people that you know, it's just a beautiful thing. I so enjoy working on uh, Tuolity Plains Great Grains with the community. We've come a long way working on this repair of the soil, repair of the relationship between the farm and the city is a lot of work in paradigms and shifting paradigms and we're coming along and we're getting there. My name is Catherine Doimling, and I'm the founder and CEO of Cook With What You Have here in Portland, Oregon. The beauty and importance and deliciousness of the Great Grains Conference and the Tuolity Plains Grains Project is that it so amazingly illustrates how to have thriving, sustainable communities, rural and urban, by considering land use, soil and water, riparian issues, farms, commodity crops, cereal crops, and crops that we can turn into bread and beer and things that make our days and lives beautiful in a way that celebrates interesting varieties and local business and enables people to thrive and land to thrive is what is so amazing about this project. So here's to many years of many great grains. Hi everyone, my name is Bridget Mainz and I'm a postdoctoral research associate at Oregon State University in the Barley Breeding Program. My role is to manage a project on developing multi-use naked barley for organic systems. This is a national project funded by the USDA NIFA Organic Agriculture and Research Extension Initiative. And so with this project, we're all working on breeding naked barley, so that's barley that free threshes from the hull, similar to wheat, for organic systems. And the multi-use means we're breeding for food, feed, and malt. For farmers who are interested in selling into a variety of end-use market classes. We're so happy to have partnered with Charlene and the Great Grains Initiative to promote naked barley. Charlene has been and a huge advocate uh, for our research. Uh, this is just the beginning of so many other potential projects. So far, we've worked with her to get a roasted naked barley tea into the market, malting naked barleys, uh, barley bulgur, barley flour, and uh, I look forward to talking to folks about barley in the future. If you're interested in learning more about our research. You can visit barleyworld.org. We also have social media on Instagram and Facebook, both at barleyworld and at multibarley. Thanks. Bye. My name is Dave Ferrier from Slow Rise Bakehouse. I'm the owner and head baker there. At Slow Rise, we use the grain that Lyle grows in a few different ways. We use the Red Fife in our Red Fife biscuits, which have become one of our most popular products, and I chalk that up to the flavor of the grain. It's a pretty simple, basic biscuit recipe, but it really lets the flavor of that Red Fife shine through. We started the Celebrate Great Grains annual conference in 2017 over an interest in gathering the community together to look at what our farmscape is from the ground up, 
looking and studying the soil, the riparian zone, the animal inputs, and um, the the work just the working farmscape. So we wanted people to get closer to their environment and closer to the source of their nutrition. It's a partnership with local farmer and friend Lyle Speeshart to show our community that our farmland and our farmscape is necessary and important for production of food for our town. It's at my friend uh, Lyle Speeshart's farm and that's a farm where Lyle has raised grain for Tuolity Plains Great Grains for four years now. And we raise uh, red five wheat, dark northern rye, and purple karma barley. And so we've been raising those grains now for um, four years. And for the first three years of our farm production, we had an annual event called Celebrate Great Grains. And we have loved that event. It was very well attended. And this year, uh, in 2020, we weren't able to have an event that was open to the public. But we did have a very, very uh, successful conference that was open to about 21 industry professionals and about four or five um, assistants who helped me coordinate the discussions. And it was truly, truly an interesting conference, and we look forward to continuing that into a two or three day program in 2021 that might have, say for example, classes, demonstrations, different panels on different subjects like brewing, distilling, and bread baking. Each year at Tuolity Plains Great Grains Conference, we have panel discussions of experts from our industry who come to speak to us about um, their subjects. Hi everyone, my name is Lane Selman. I am the director of the Culinary Breeding Network and a professor of practice at Oregon State University. In the Culinary Breeding Network, we bring together plant breeders, seed growers, farmers, produce buyers, grain buyers. We work with millers and maltsters. We work with distillers, brewers, bakers, uh, and chefs. Um, and we just want to get people really excited about barley. You know, the person that put this uh, conference together, uh, Charlene, is a huge barley and all grain cheerleader. She is a wonderful um, enthusiast for all things grains and um, we're very lucky to have her in our community and look forward to working with you guys and meeting you all and celebrating grains with you in the future. Thank you. So please, won't you join me in eating locally, drinking locally, and supporting your local farmer. Mm -hmm.